Have you ever wondered how chemists figure out the energy changes of reactions that are hard to measure directly? The answer is Hess's Law. In this video, we'll see what it says and how to use it. Hess's Law states, The enthalpy change for a chemical reaction is always the same, no matter how the reaction takes place or how many steps it involves. In other words, enthalpy is a state function. It depends only on the starting point and the final point not on the path we take between them. Mathematical form, delta H overall equals the sum of the delta H values for the steps. This means that if we know the enthalpy changes for a series of steps, we can simply add them to find the total enthalpy change. Let's look at a simple illustration. Suppose substance A changes directly into product D and we want to know the enthalpy change for this reaction. We may not know this value directly, but imagine another path where A transforms into B, B transforms into C, and finally C transforms into D. We know the enthalpy change for each of these steps. According to Hess's law, the total enthalpy change for A turning into D is simply the sum of the three steps. Delta H A to D equals Delta H1 plus Delta H2 plus Delta H3. To use Hess's law, we often need to rearrange thermochemical equations so they combine to give the reaction we're interested in. But to do that correctly, there are three simple rules we have to follow. Rule 1. Reversing a reaction. If we reverse a chemical reaction, the sign of its Delta H also reverses. A negative value becomes positive, and a positive value becomes negative. For example, consider the combustion of methane. If we reverse this equation so that methane and oxygen are produced, the enthalpy change becomes plus 890 kilojoules. When we multiply all the substances in an equation by a number, we must also multiply delta H by that same number. The enthalpy change scales with the amount of reactants and products. For example, doubling the methane combustion reaction gives 2 methane plus 4O2 gives 2 carbon dioxide and 4 water. Delta H equals minus 1,780 kilojoules. When we add two or more chemical reactions together, we simply add their enthalpy changes as well. This is the essence of Hess's law. Here's a quick example. Let's take two reactions. If we add the first reaction and the second reaction, the total enthalpy change is delta H equals minus 1283.5 kilojoules. Now that we've gone through the three rules, reversing, multiplying, and adding, the next step is understanding how to combine them to reach the equation we want. Think of it like assembling a puzzle. Rearrange, flip, or scale the given equations until they perfectly match your target reaction. And of course, whatever you do to the equations, you do to their delta H values as well. Let's see how this works in a real example. Let's find the enthalpy change for forming carbon monoxide. We can't measure it directly, but thanks to Hess's law, we can figure it out using other known reactions. Here's what we know. First, when carbon reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide, the reaction releases 393.5 kilojoules of energy. Second, when carbon monoxide reacts with half a mole of oxygen to form carbon dioxide, the reaction releases 283 kilojoules. Now, our goal is to find the enthalpy change for this reaction. So, Let's reverse the second reaction because we want CO as a product, not a reactant. When we reverse a reaction, we also change the sign of delta H. Now we add the two reactions together. The carbon dioxide cancels out, and we're left with carbon plus half O2 gives CO. As for the energy, 
negative 393.5 plus 283 equals negative 110.5 kilojoules. So, the enthalpy change for forming carbon monoxide is negative 110.5 kilojoules. You've just seen how Hess's law works in action with the formation of carbon monoxide. Now, it's your turn to practice. I've prepared a few exercises for you to try on your own. If you'd like me to post a follow-up video where I solve these examples step by step, just let me know in the comments. And once you've tried solving them, you can also share your answers or ask any questions in the comments section.